Are you currently working with or considering using a resume writer? Don't do it or fire them. And here's why. Chat GPT is going to make it so easy for you to create fantastic resumes and also create fantastic resume summaries. And resume summaries are really critical when you're applying for a role. You'll always take that job description, try and identify those key points and build good summaries on each new resume you create. Sounds like a lot of work. Chat GPT will help you do each new resume in about two to three minutes. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to dive in. I'm going to show you how to build a resume from scratch using Chat GPT. Then we're going to look at a Google job description and show you how to build a strong summary. I know this video is going to really help. Hang out with me and I'm going to screen share for the rest of the video. So this is OpenAI's platform. And specifically, when it comes to utilizing ChatGPT, you'll simply click the Try button. Now, if you've never logged in, you'll have to set up your username and password. Otherwise, if you've done it before and you've been here before, we'll simply take you to this search screen. So for the purpose of this video, I want to imagine that we're going after a technical program manager role focused in, in cloud tech. So. I just asked ChatGPT to write me a resume for a TPM focused in cloud tech. And this is what it came up with. So you can see it built a summary, technical skills, made some fake experience and put in an education. <laughs> so this is a great start. So here's what I wanna do. We are going to build what I like to call our shell resume. This is our go-to resume. And then each time we apply or try to network or we have to give our resume for a new position, we are only going to change out the summary. But let's let's build it. So I created a very simplistic shell resume. Obviously this is all fake, but let's kind of go through it. So anytime we're gonna take information, we're just going to paste without formatting and instantly we're gonna ask ourselves in the summary, do I care about any of these items? And I would say, okay, I'm not a huge fan of putting years of experience up top here, but I think that's fine. So technical program manager with seven years of experience in cloud technologies, okay. Delivering complex projects, time, budget, that's pretty normal. Adept at managing cross-functional teams, building strong relationships, that's pretty normal. Proficient in agile technologies. Okay, that's more specific because we really want the summary to have specific items and skilled in driving process improvement initiatives. Okay, so let's just take that as well. Driving process improvement initiatives. Okay, and we'll just we'll just keep this here for a second and let's go back. So now let's take these technical skills. Obviously for any TPM role, we're gonna care about these items. So again, we'll go right back and build the shell. And so let's not forget to paste without formatting. And so we come in here, let's say that we have experience with AWS. And I actually like that it calls out cloud technologies. I think this makes it much easier to read. Project management tools, let's say Jira, we know that. Programming languages, let's say we know some Python. And then operating systems, obviously I'm keeping this very easy. Let's put that as Linux. Again, right back in here. So now when we go down to experience, you're probably saying, all right, Jeff, this is crazy, like I know my day-to-day -day responsibilities, I know my accomplishments, why would I ever use this? Well, here's why. Let me just show you a quick tip or trick that's gonna be really helpful. So we go here, scroll up here, and let's just again, come in here, edit, paste without formatting, and then this is helpful to remind you of things that you've done that would be relevant. So maybe you don't have a section in your resume where you talk about leading a successful migration. So I'm just gonna keep this data point in here for myself and I'm gonna follow suit. Maybe I managed a team to deliver something, so I'll just go, I'm just gonna get rid of the managed team of 12 developers, but manage a team on delivery and then I'm gonna just leave the rest blank because I might have and have likely done something like that. Now we said before we, we do have agile experience, so implemented agile technologies, we could just use that and acted as a primary point of contact for clients and stakeholders. Okay, let's just keep these pieces in here right now. So what this does is it just gets the mind flowing to say, okay, have I really put in all the bullets that I need and do any of these items resonate with me? We'll come back to this. This is very, very generic, but again, this is just our shell resume. So 
we might come right back in and again we might take some of these same items for this second position and again this is just to go through the exercise to see you and show why we don't need a resume writer and how we can do this incredibly quickly because again you know what you've done in your work so let's paste without formatting so manage the delivery of multiple cloud-based projects yeah we've probably done something like that right um, oversaw the implementation of continuous integration continuous delivery okay definitely we've done that probably in this role led the development of a cloud-based video transcoding platform okay so I would just say led the development and I would keep that pretty open and then assisted in the development so that's two developments so I might just delete that one out again this is very very basic but if you're starting from scratch you can see the power of this and if we come back here remember I used a very very generic ask here so you can get more and more complex so let's dive in let's get into a little bit more complexity here so now what I asked was I asked to write 10 short resume summary bullets for a TPM focused in cloud so this is going to start to get more specific and if you've seen any of my other content you know how much I care about the resume summary because the reality is is that recruiters only have three to five seconds to look at your resume so they won't look for longer if the summary isn't really aligned so let's come back in let's go right back into our summary and we're just going to rebuild this generic piece a little bit more and make it a little bit better so we're going to paste without formatting um experienced so i mean so this is where if we go to the bottom i might say aws and then i might get more specific i might say um, five years of experience and then skilled in cross-functional delivery again this is that's generic right proficient in driving technical roadmaps okay technical roadmaps is a little bit more specific timeline on budget like those are things i would expect from a tpm but technical roadmaps is interesting okay strong communicator no i'm not going to use that one demonstrated track record of migrating legacy apps yeah so we might use we might use something like this like we might go and build something like building oops We'll go building scalable cloud native systems from the ground up again not, not bad optimizing so i'm just going to get rid of the managing and we'll go we'll go optimizing cloud infrastructure to reduce costs proficient in agile methodologies okay so we already have that one up above we will fix like anything we always need to fix strong understanding of security best practices okay that's important and implementing security controls all right that's pretty good security is very important working on prem and hybrid that's good and then resolving issues okay that's not as great that's more generic all right so now what do we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine bullets that might be too many but now we have a decent summary going we've started to build our experience we're just going to need to go back and do that work right just build in the day-to-day -day responsibilities and accomplishments you need to build in the day-to-day -day because the day-to-day -day will hit on the keyword searches linkedin resumes resumes when they're submitted to applicant tracking systems etc and then we've started to build our technical summary and of course i have the, the place where i went to college right in there so now let's go here now I asked list the top 20 technologies that a technical program manager should know so this is fun too so now we start to develop a little bit of our technical summary again we're trying to hit on some of those keywords so let's come down now we already have a few in here which is great but let's just go ahead again edit paste without formatting and let's just throw these in here so we've already said okay so we definitely know um, we definitely know this piece well and we've, we've done the software development so we can kick those out I think DevOps tools let's say we know Jenkins okay so we would 
We could come in and DevOps tools and practices. And then I like something like this, what they've done before, Jenkins. So let's say we know all three of these. And so I would say I know SQL, Hadoop, and Tableau. So boom there, networking protocols. Again, I would just get rid of this and I would go here. Yep, uh, let's say I'm more familiar with VMware than Kubernetes if I'm using AWS, even though everybody uses Kubernetes, I think, and, it, and so on and so forth. And so what you can do is you can start to clean this up and then maybe you get down to the bottom and you're like, hey, I don't have 3D modeling. Um, I've never used Slack, Asana, or Trello. I don't really care about some of this e-commerce stuff, so we can get rid of that. Content management isn't going to be as important. Uh, user experience isn't going to be as important, but maybe these blockchain, let's get rid of that. And then maybe this becomes our technical summary. And look, we've got big data, we got mobile development, we got IoT, all these great things. And now you have a very strong technical summary and you're just calling out what you have in each space. This would be an amazing technical summary. So what have we done? We've basically built a shell resume in 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes. That's not bad at all. You went from scratch to a decent starting point of a resume. Then you're, you're going to want to go back, obviously, fine tune the summary a little bit, build in your experience bullets, but that's probably another 15 to 20 minutes. You could take any of those bullets that you wrote and you can always have chat GPT update them for grammar. So you can build a really, really good resume in probably 20 to 30 minutes. So now let's make a pivot and let's focus a little bit more on the summary section. So what I wanna do is let's go look at a job description. So I'm gonna to go to the Google's careers page. It's just careers.google.com. I put in technical program manager for the Bay Area, staying consistent with the fake locations on my resume, even though I'm in San Diego now. And then I pulled up this one. I pulled up cloud. I pulled up infrastructure engineering. I think the infrastructure engineering one's a little bit more interesting for the purpose of this exercise. So let's go through it. So what I would do is I would simply take this and I would copy and paste this into ChatGPT. So let's do it. And what I looked for and what I was trying to build from a summary perspective is I wrote list the most critical concepts slash items that appear in this job description. Then I just paste all this information in and then ChatGPT spits out a bunch of items. Some of the stuff we're gonna care about, some we won't care about, it will not be relevant at all, but let's do it. Let's take some of this information and again, we're just going to copy and paste it. Now, I have a new shell resume, so we're just going to use this resume. We'll edit, paste without formatting, and we're going to say, okay, what do I care about in this summary that I might want to add to my summary if I was just interviewing for this role? So, if I have any GCP experience, I'm going to keep that there. Infrastructure engineering, sure, that's a good one. It's lots of specificity. Um, Again, we might take something like this, software infrastructure engineering, that's specific, working on a distributed team, this is generic, generic, generic. Uh, we may keep, may, let's get rid of this. Let's do working closely with these teams just to see if it pulls up on any keywords. Again, this is all pretty generic, generic, generic. Uh, some of this is pretty generic. Okay, I like that one. So, managing end-to-end -end delivery process. Uh, technical guidance, uh, maybe not so much. And then the rest of this stuff, obviously, I wouldn't want. So, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven decent summary bullets. The first step we might go back is we might say, you know what? I don't like that response. Let's regenerate that response. And sometimes this is going to happen. Chat GPT, I actually did this intentionally. Chat GPT will time you out quite a bit. So all I would do is I would come in here and I just want to show you this because you're going to run into this. So let's just copy this. We're just going to refresh it. And we'll just want to make sure that the site is secure. And then boom, 
We're right back in and we're going to regenerate a response. Okay, so let's see if anything different pops up here that we think might be interesting. Okay, I'm seeing a couple things here that could be interesting, especially here. Let's just take some of these bottom items right here. And actually, I'm going to go up and I want to take the QA piece too. Remember, you're going to have to rework some of this stuff, but again, we'll go edit, we'll paste without formatting because quality assurance, product management, software project lifecycle, release schedule and milestones, fast paced environment, nope, and setting priorities and data analysis and decision making. But now, okay. Now we've got a few more specific things. QA is specific, product management for a TPM is specific, software project lifecycle, release schedule, and milestones. Now you might start grouping some of these concepts together. I really like it if summary bullets stay on one line. They don't have to, but it's nice if they do because they jump off the page a little bit more. So let's say we decide to go with this. Again, we're gonna tweak it a little bit. Then we would go back to our initial resume, we'd go right back up to the summary and we'd say, okay, like, what are a couple of other things that maybe they would want to know about us that we didn't include there? Okay, security in the hybrid and, and on-prem environments, those are going to be two that I just want to add. They might not have jumped out of the job description, but I'm just going to throw them in here anyway. And then we decide, okay, boom, this is our summary. And we're going to keep this again. You're probably going to add some of these together to probably have it at less than 10. And then we would keep all this other stuff. We'll go back to the initial resume. We would keep all this other stuff, the experience, the education, and the technical summary the same, unless it was calling out a specific technical item in the job description that you had that you did not have in your initial technical summary. So I went in and I did this for a couple positions, but now that I'm thinking about it, we probably only need to do it once. But here's the deal. Let's go back. If we go back here, remember your recruiter. We always have to think about our audience. And the criticality here is that we need to remember they have limited time and maybe they're not that excited to look at your resume. So hit on a number of the items that they're going to care about right away. And that's going to make them more intrigued to go down and look at your resume. Hey, if you had a summary that aligned really well and it said Meta and Salesforce on there, the likelihood that I contact you is very, very high. I really like it for creating your overall resume, but each time you do it, this is the last tip or trick, you are going to save it as a new resume each time so that when you go back in the future, you can always revisit it. So I would just put my name, I would put the company name, this will be really good for sorting, within your Google Drive, then you put the title, you just name it resume, and you put the date. And if you do this every time, remember, if you're going through job search mode, you may create a number of these resumes. There are so many tips and tricks that you could do with ChatGPT to write a better resume, and I just wanted to show you a few of these. Please, in the comments, let me know how it goes, and I want you to watch this video that I did before the new year on how to utilize ChatGPT to really help with your open-ended answers. Good luck.